Human anyway, beings are more dangerous than bears. I'm just trying not to say things I'm not allowed to either at the same time. So. Yeah, I'm not saying that human beings are less capable of inflicting harm. They are more capable of inflicting harm. But on average, men are not going to inflict harm unnecessarily compared to bears. Bears don't care. They're just going to do what they want to do regardless. There are, less, there are less walls they have to go over. Morals, their humanity, uh, no, like is this other person posing a threat? All of those walls have to be crossed by a man, but for a bear to want to maul you, it's like one or two. It's yeah, like, do why, I feel that's like That's why it? I say it's significantly easier to forgive a bear than it is. Well, it's not about what does forgiveness. It have to do? It has nothing it's to do like it's would, likelihood of being yeah. harmed. Well, yeah, that's, I would still pick the bear. It's not really I would rather be mauled by a bear than <laughs> Can Bro, I? this, oh, this whole man. like it's, it's all kind of yo. I'm it's, actually okay with that. It's all it's <laughs> just fine. I don't know. Have you ever you seen know, a woman? I, I mean, who cares? Have you ever seen a woman's reaction to a spider? <laughs> and y'all gonna pick bear? <laughs> I love spiders. Okay, what's up? What you got? Can I add a little follow up question to sure. the bear talk, keeping sure. on the subject of bear talk? And I want everyone to answer real quickly. You're walking through a forest. This is part two of the question. Okay. You're walking through a forest. <laughs> And you can see one of the three following things. What do you pick? A man, a bear, or a woman? Which one do you pick? A man. Still a probably the bear. Still a man. No, it's solely just, I don't think there's any right or wrong answer. I'm just asking out of curiosity. A woman? No, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I would choose a man because not. a woman can't help me. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would trust in a man I mean, more than I would trust in a woman. Thousand percent. Okay. Damn. I'm a firm believer if you can't uh, get out of the woods by yourself, you don't deserve to get out of the woods. It's not really the question, but... Fair enough. I mean, they're you could even... About, they're you, talking about a man helping them. I no, mean, look, I mean, that, 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 no, that's how I, mean, I view it. Yeah, if I was in the woods, how, how I kind of view it is that... Wait, wait, wait. Is, is, now, are you one of those people who would be able to get out of the woods yourself? Yeah, I just spent the last four days in the fucking woods. All right, great. Can you tell me how you make a fire in the woods? Yeah, you have a spark thing. Yeah, no, Spark you don't have anything. Thing. You just have your bare hands. How would you make a fire? The stick with the little... What, what does that mean? I don't know what you that means. You... You walk me, just walk me through how you would make a fire in the woods. You rub the sticks together, dude. With a little bit of... You rub two sticks together, yeah. and then what happens when you rub two sticks together? Friction happens, and then it creates heat, and then heat creates fire. Well, I mean, that's true, but you would have to combust something, right? Yes. Yeah, so why don't you walk me through, without being snarky, actually walk me through how you would start a fire what in the does, woods by yourself. What does having to start a fire have to do with anything? It follows. What does you, why, why, I, I don't understand. You're I one of the guys, you're going to make it. You're the person who's going to make it out of these woods. You are a savage she broad. Now tell me how you make a fire in the woods when you don't have anything to make a fire with. You tell carry me. carry a lighter. You don't have a lighter. I don't know why you don't have a lighter, but I'm very prepared when I go in the woods. Why don't you, so you can't answer the question? Faith. I don't feel like answering this question. You can't answer the question, right? No, because I already answered but it. But you would be one of the ones who got out of the woods, right? Yes. No, I would die yeah. in the woods. Wait, why don't you feel like answering the question? Because I just answered the question. I you told didn't you. answer. You just friction, said. Friction creates heat. He creates fire. Yeah, but he was well, looking Well, no, for... no. <laughs> That's just an oversimplification. Walk me through how you would do it. I'm good. But Joe, just take the L and You're say good. you don't know. Okay, okay, fine. I don't know. You don't. So, okay. <laughs> do you, you actually don't know, though? You, can, know, I don't you got, having, can you into the mic? I do not feel like having this conversation right now. You, hold on. You're triggered over the I'm making not, fire conversation? I'm, I'm not. That's where you triggered. draw the line on making yes. fire? Yes. I draw the line at making fire. I will not make fire. I will die in the woods, cold and alone, happy. Well, why? Okay. Why don't you just engage in good faith? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, it's, it's kind of funny to me that, I mean, you were so into the conversation five seconds ago, and then suddenly I don't want to answer any questions. Very strange. In fact, hold on. In your pre-show notes, you said, you're incorrect about the bear debate, and if it is still a topic of conversation when I come on the show, I would love to come on and tell you you're wrong, if you would have me again. Yeah. So you can't just shut down the conversation. But this has nothing actually. To, I brought up. The I bear already debate. told you. I brought up the bear debate precisely because I you already told you. It. I prefer to pick the bear. And I said I'm a firm believer. If you can't make it out alive by yourself, then you don't deserve to make it out alive. But you also said you would be one of the ones who did. Okay, then I won't. I'll die in the woods. 
that you wouldn't be one of the ones who would make it out of the woods? No, I won't. But you're holding yourself out to be some like survivalist and he's asking you a basic survival question. I'm not a survivalist. I just hike in the woods for days at a time. Okay. (laughs) Okay, well she doesn't want to answer the fire question. So there's not really anything we can do. You take two sticks and you rub them together. Rub them together. That's right. And then (laughs) fire. Exactly. Okay, well, I'll move it on to... Because friction. Because friction is tough. (laughs) Uh, You also, I mean, we touched on the bullet thing, the whole protection thing. In your pre-show notes, you said you're also wrong about men not dying for slash or protecting in general their their women. Woman. Yes, women do need to be, parentheses, a lot better. There's definitely a pattern of absent fathers and horse women. These are your words, not mine. However, men shoving off their protector provider responsibility is the reason women have had to step up in those roles, making women more masculine slash I don't need a man feminist. The reason women are the way they are now is because boys are not growing up into men, but rather staying in a Peter Pan never grow up state because the women have taken over and men don't feel the need to step up. A lot of these men out here are still sucking on their mom's. This is also the reason so many of the young men are depressed because they don't feel they have a purpose or they are needed. If we as a society bring back strong masculine men and not the fake, I want to control my woman type of masculinity, there's a lot of that, women would fall in line with much less resistance. Do you want to elaborate or anything? What would you like me to elaborate on? Well, I was just reading your pre-show notes. I don't know if you had any additions, addendums, amendments. No, I think I meant what I said. If you would like clarification on it. I think I made it pretty clear. Okay, well, I'll I'll ask you a couple questions then. You said, not the fake, I want to control my woman type of masculinity. What does that mean? Oh, there's a lot of men who sit there and they they act like they're masculine just so they can control a woman. Like Like they like they No, they sit there and they tell her what she can and can't do. As if she's like a helpless... Okay, hold, hold on. Okay, so what about, I'm dating a girl... And I say, I don't want you going out to bars and nightclubs. Man. Is that controlling? No, that's not controlling. That's a safety thing. But she should also know that. Okay. So, I mean, what would be a controlling thing then? Saying that you can't, like, I don't know, go out with your family or some shit. Like, that's the kind of shit, like, my Our ex used to say. Yeah, no, I've he wouldn't, he wouldn't let me. Too. Yeah, he okay, wouldn't let well, me go out with my family because he was a f- racist. Well, now we're talking about something kind How of different. That that's, that's the controlling aspect that I'm, a lot of men I have met are like that. How is going out with your family racist? I think she said something. I have no idea. Um, Anyways, moving this on. So, I mean, here's my rebuttal. This is absolutely bulletproof. Not fallacious at all. Definitely not fallacious. Absolutely bulletproof. You have a septum piercing. Case closed. (laughs) So I can just disregard every (laughs) single thing you say. I'm going to call it uh, the septum piercing razor. Okay. She who has a septum piercing, you can just disregard all the shit she says. That's Sorry, you can that have that opinion. Joke. It's <laughs> called Actually, the it's called the septinium fallacy. <laughs> Well, and I actually, Andrew, I think you'll like this one. There's also, Andrew, you and me, we've tangled with a couple women who on their Instagram, some of them are OF girls on their Instagram or their Twitter, there's photos of them with a substance on their face. <laughs> and a couple girls. Uh, so I'd like to, I know, oh my God, I can't. <laughs> Uh, so there's a razor. Brian, it's called... a substance. What what sort of substance? <laughs> what sort of substance are you talking about? It comes from the phallus. Uh, oh, it does. Okay, got it. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm dubbing this the Atlas Razor. One's opinion can be dismissed should one have a photo of them with jizz on their face. Mm-hmm. It's called the Atlas's Razor. Is that a real you can thing? just dismiss anybody. You can dismiss their any assertions or opinions they have if you have a photo, man or woman. This well, isn't actually, a sexist this thing. Is this is an, sexist. an answer. Brian doesn't know this, but this is the age-old answer to the what is called the genetic fallacy. And the genetic fallacy is when you uh, 
essentially say that the argument isn't valid due to the source of the argument itself. That would be the genetic fallacy. But this is the counter to it. This is the counter to the genetic fallacy. It's counter. So if the source has jizz on its face, you can instantly dismiss it as being invalid, and it invalidates the genetic fallacy. I agree. Mm. This is the Atlas response to the genetic fallacy. I think that that's fair. Yeah. And by the way, this isn't like a sexist thing. Mm. If a guy has a photo yeah, I'm like, wait, with spunk on his face, you can also part? dismiss his... Huh? It's just the photo part that like does it? Well, that's the proof. You need the proof. You can't just assert that you know, if somebody had that on their face at one time, there needs to be evidence. Oh, and it's got to be on the face. <laughs> All right, move. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, did you have something else, sir? No, I think I made my point. Uh, by the way, this is now, uh, we're going to refer to this as the Coombe Clause, uh, which like invalidates that. the genetic fallacy from, from here on out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good talk. <laughs> Anyways, but don't you think it's a little, you know, don't you think it's a little, uh, this whole bear thing, you know? I like A little discriminate, a little bias, a little anti-male bias. This is what I'll bias. tell you. This is what I'll tell you. A little anti-male bias. I like animals more than people in general. You didn't understand the part, like, the point I was trying to make What were you trying to make? Like, the, 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 it keeps coming up that we keep saying bear or most of us, at least because of the experiences we've individually had with... Can I ask you a question? And it has nothing to do with the bear. Yeah. Obviously, I don't want to interact so with the bear. So let's just change... Let's change up this scenario then. Let's change... Have you ever had a bad experience with someone who's part of a racial group? I was going to do one better. No, no, hold on. Let her answer the question. I mean... Like, have you ever had a bad experience? I'm not saying because they're part of that racial group, but let's say... You had a bad experience with someone who happened to be part of a racial group. It could be a white person. It could be a black person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, sure. Right. Would that then be pretext for having a negative bias towards the racial group? No. So why is it okay then to have a negative it, bias towards the male group? Because it could have been a man or a woman. Like, in my, in my case, I'm not thinking of it as it just being the, the man that I wouldn't. No, but you're precise. You're saying we've had bad experience with men. Because that was your argument. Like, had bad no, experience. but, it could, but realistically, too. it could have been a man right, or but a if, woman. If you make that same argument against right. uh, a race, a racial group, it could be, would a, it be that sexist? racist man or woman that could. But would you then be racist if you said because I had a bad experience with a person who's part of this group, I no longer. And feel comfortable. I no longer feel safe. I no longer trust this group. No, I don't. Is it racist? I'm not, no, I, it's and not I racist. could be totally. Like, so then, okay, fine. I could be is totally it, like not catching on to what you're saying. Like, you're not knows, catching maybe on. I could be. <laughs> or, okay. No, I'm saying I. Okay, like, you said that could be possible. Because, you but, said because of my past bad experiences with men. Right. Right. I don't. I don't feel safe around men. I don't trust men. I'd rather be in a no, forest with a bear. Like, that's what I'm saying, it's that when I include it's not just the man thing, I'm not going for just the man. It could have been any... That's literally it, though. I, that's the part where I'm like, be, maybe okay, I didn't Okay, so would you rather understand. be alone in the forest with a woman or a bear? At this bear. point, fucking neither, dude. Because <laughs> I don't care about that bear. Uh, it's I'm not about, gonna let like, you weasel. Just... I'm not going to let you weasel out of this. <laughs> Answer the question. Bear. Still, Still the bear. bear. Still yeah. the bear? Okay. But, I mean... I've been... I've been treated weirdly by women sure. just as, as much as I have by men different ways I don't know it's, but it's I not a like sexist thing to me at all I it's do, not sexist to I do be feel more like afraid of you're just saying bear bears. because I mean if you you're, you'll say bear now just because but like you know you're going to choose a woman but that's not necessarily fair because I know every girl sitting at this table has had a friend in their life that was their friend who is no longer their friend because that particular girl did them so dirty or did them something terrible or started some yeah, so terrible thing in their life but you will you're not going to hold that against a girl and you're going to be like dude I like you a lot I want to be your friend you will never do that you will uh, trust another woman so how can you not so trust another man Nickelodeon donated $199 lady stop trying to bring up your traumatized past just so you can say it's too traumatic to talk about and act like a victim 
We don't want to hear it. Okay. Go talk to the bear about your traumas. <laughs> okay, thank you, Nickelodeon. Appreciate okay. it. Uh, Brian, I think you need therapy. <laughs> okay, so somebody rightly brought.